representing. Hey guys, Dan from Wilder Mr. Grey, Dandalf the Grey. And I wasn't going to make a video about this because two channels already covered it in the name of The Shape and Rick DeBunks Exposed. I've linked them down below, go check them out. I've been asked the last couple of days, as if for those who don't know, just in case you didn't see those other channels, but a couple of uh, paranormal investigators have finally come clean about the bullshit they add into their videos, which we'll get to in a bit. But I was asked quite a few times over the last couple of days in the comment section, and I think I answer, answered a few with the, with the typing. People keep asking me my thoughts on it, because, you know, it, it is, um, I suppose it is big in the paranormal community, I don't know. It wasn't really a shock to me. <laughs> <laughs> but for those who don't know, just in case you didn't see the Shapes video or the or Rick DeBunks video, exposed. Sorry, I'm I'm used to calling him Rick DeBunks. Urban Ghost Explore, Urban Ghost, Urban Explorers, Ugu sees crazy crossroads, and now G G Team Patty from G Team. So many weird names, I can't remember them. But they all finally came out and admitted, yes, we do stage things. I was not shocked one bit. <laughs> one bit. And the reason why, I don't know why G-Team, oh, I, I don't know why Patty from G-Team came out and said it. Maybe she could, she's been caught too many times, I don't know. They've all been caught too many times, by the way. But yeah, the, you know, the, we've all we've all seen <laughs> the usual suspects um, stage and stuff. I mean, it's plain as day in some of their videos. But the biggest one is what made them to start admitting. First it was uh, C's, Chris from C's Crazy Crossroads, and then it was Yugu. I'm just going to call him Yugu because they're too many words. But um, C's, from, C's from Chris from C's Crazy Crossroads. He was in the, in some haunted place. <laughs> and he looked at the cupboard and the cupboard closed. But you could pl plain as day see someone else's arm just come in and close the cupboard. It was one of the funniest clips I've ever seen. <laughs> and you had people in the comments def trying to defend them saying, no, it was a ghost arm. It wasn't. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I mean, I'm not here to hate on them, by the way, right? I'm not here to hate on them. I've barely covered those channels, to be honest with you. I haven't. Those are the kind of channels I... I mean, it's so much bollocks in them, I don't really look at them. Because, <laughs> to me, there wasn't really much to do much in them. That's for me, anyway. You know, other people did very good debunks on them. For me, I just didn't think it was any point. But, of course, I knew who they were. I'd, I'd seen their videos, and you know, they, they used to run around with, oh my gosh, Jody Bloody Dean. A lot of people are praising them, which I... I don't know, I don't know. Do they deserve praise? I don't know. Like I said, I'm not hating on them, but they're only coming clean because they got caught. That's the only reason they're coming clean. You know, they're finally admitting they stage things. Same with Patty from G-Team, they're finally admitting we stage things. And with Patty's uh, case, I did read read her post, and I do, f I don't know, I, I, like I said, I don't want to hate on her, because she said she started it to try and get in contact with her, her son, which I'm not going to go into it, I was fine. You know, how can I uh, go against that? But I think the reason they, well, I know for a fact the reason that Ugu and Chris from Seas Crazy Crossroad finally admitted it, because they got caught bang to rights. Um, and like I said, I don't know why Patty admitted they maybe someone else pointed some stuff out. I've been pointing stuff out with these channels, not in the video, but myself, you know, like, look, I can see it. I can see it, damn it. I've been pointing them out for months. <laughs> but like I said, I didn't bother making videos on it because to me, they were just, they were obvious. They were obvious. And I know the shape and Rick DeBunks have covered them, could have covered them a few times. So I thought, what's the point in, you know, retreading old, uh, old, Pavements. Is that the saying? That's not the saying. But you know what I mean. So I didn't cover them. But like I said, I have been asked them about them. Like I said, I've seen them getting praise now for it's like, oh, so good of you to come out and finally admit. Like I said, they come out and admitted it because they caught red-handed. They got caught red-handed. And I know what you're going to ask. I know what you're going to ask. Well, how come you praised Tim Morisov? The reason I praised Tim Morisov... I praised him for the English translation, but if you go to his channel and go to his very first, very first video he, he has on his channel, he has been admitting it since day one. That's why I am more lenient to Tim Morisov, even though I still get people in the bloody comment section telling me it's for laws, it's not laws. Don't get me started, it's not because of YouTube laws. Russia couldn't give a shit about YouTube laws. It's nothing to do with laws. It's a disclaimer, Tim Morisov has a disclaimer in 
Now bear in mind, the, these last couple of videos I have noticed this disclaimer is up for about a split second. I think you know, he's realising oh, now is an English translation and a lot more people are going to see it. But it's there. You know, the point is, it's been there since day one on his channel. I know he had another channel, and I always forget the bloody name, with Dennis from Dark Ghost Paranormal. They used, they used to pair together, make you know, creepy videos. And again, they had... Just, I think they had disclaimers on him, I can't remember. But the fact is, Tim Morisov had a, had a disclaimer in his very first video from day one. So this is why I'm a bit more lenient with Tim Morisov um, admitting that he stages stuff. As opposed to Yugu, Seas Crazy Crossroads and Patty from G-Team. It's because the only reason they're admitting it now is because they were caught red-handed. I mean, they've been caught many times, but maybe they've realised, oh shit, you know, I, I can't pull the wall over people's eyes anymore. You know, it's like, so that's that's why they come out. I've, been, I've, I've also been asked, do I think anyone else is going to come out and uh, say it? Franco TV will never come out and say it. Even though he sort of like puts in his description, I just want to make these ent as entertaining as possible. I don't think Franco TV will ever come out and admit it. Oh my gosh. I don't know, has he admitted it? I, he, I don't think he'll ever come out and admit it. Jordy Dean is too much of a narcissist to admit to anyone that he fakes anything. I haven't got much more to say. Like I said, I'm not surprised. I am not surprised one bit when they came out. Came out and said they staged paranormal. Like I said, I'm not hating on them. You know, they, they, uh, they have pulled the wool over people's eyes for a long time. But like I always say, um, if you want to believe what you see on YouTube, that's entirely up to you. It's entirely up to you. I'm not, I'm not here to tell you not what to watch and not what to watch. If you know what I mean. I'm just here to point stuff out. That's all I do. I never go after people. I just point stuff out. Unless, it, unless you're half paranormal, that is. And no, I'm not his uh, weird, weird looking twin brother. Definitely not. I wonder, you know, I, I wonder if this is the start of a new trend. A new trend of finally coming out and admitting, no, this video I made of this haunted little shadow dude is bollocks. I mean, they should. They should, if you ask me. I think, I generally think that if these people... Now, I, I did look in the comments of the uh, Yugo ones and Seas Crazy Crossroads. Like I said, I don't really follow those, but I did look at the comments after they made those videos. And the majority of them were praising them and saying, we'll still stick by you, which is great. It's great. If you're a fan of those, stick by them. You know, at least they finally came out. But I also saw some comments saying, oh, sorry, dude, I'm unsubbing. You know, I can't. I came here for the real stuff. I'm unsubbing. And again, that's entirely up to you. I hope this is the beginning of things. The beginning of seeing other channels do exactly the same and coming out and saying, oh, well, sorry. We're, ju we're just making uh, entertaining videos. Which is fine, you're allowed to do that, you're totally allowed to do that. You're allowed to make anything you want on YouTube, to a certain degree, obviously. But at the same time, they are trying to make things out which are bullshit, to be real. That's that's the problem I have. That's the problem I have with those channels. Like I said, I don't have a problem personally with anyone. It's just, you know, when I when I point stuff out and then so, someone you know, comes to me, you, you don't believe, you don't believe, you're such a naysayer. I'm not a naysayer. It's the same thing if someone told you the earth was flat. I'm going to try and tell you something which, well, actually it's not. You know, if wouldn't you want to know? Wouldn't you want to know the truth? This is what always gets me about when people come after me, saying, how dare you? How dare you go after my favourite channel? And I can understand that you back up your favourite channel, but... Wouldn't you want to know the truth? Would, do you want to live life in bliss? I mean, if I was in the Matrix, I'd want that nice juicy steak in that restaurant. I wouldn't betray my mates, but I'd still want that steak. So I can understand if you want to live in ignorant bliss. I un totally understand. But for me, I always want to know the truth. I always want to know the workings of something. You know, what's going on behind that scene? I want, I want to know. I'm one of those people I need to know the truth, damn it. I, I grew up watching X-Files. I want to know. <laughs> I want to know the truth. So, you know, this is this is why I, I am happy they've come out and, you know, finally admitted it. But like I said, they only did that because they got caught red-handed. This is why I am more lenient towards Tim Morrisoff because he had that disclaimer from day one. But that, they're my thoughts, you know, they, they're my thoughts. Will, uh, will more come out? I, I doubt it, to be honest with you. I mean, they might come out like about 
couple of years down the line, but I don't think it's going to come out just because those three channels came out. And yeah, the other top ones, oh my gosh, Jordi Dean, Frank TV, I don't think they'll ever admit it. They'll never admit it because they have a certain following which absolutely adore them and that's fine. That's totally fine. So I think if they came out, that's <laughs> Sorry, we're staging. I think they would have the proverbial shit kicked out of them. <laughs> that's, that's what I think. There's, there's my two pennies. My two... Two, two pennies. That's gangster talk for two pennies. So let me know in the comments what you think. What you think is uh, going on. Like I said, I wasn't going to make this video, but I've been asked countless times over the last couple of days. But I will link the Shapes video down below, and I will also link Richter Bunk's video down below. If you want to go watch them, they're more informative. They've been covering them a lot more than I have. And yeah, that's it. Henry, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked this video. Leave a sub if you're new to my channel. I do these quite often. And that's it. Like I said, I wasn't sending any hate on it. I was just giving my thoughts. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.